o'clock in the morning. About to pre-trip it. We want to show y'all the stuff I use, the stuff I got out of Iowa 80. This is the spray shine on the truck. I'm doing the pre-trip. And the tire shine right now is on the from WAB. So if you like what you see, this WAB Showtime truck shine. This is how it looked, and the tire shine is from uh, the tire dressing from Rab. They both good. Uh, I never used this, but I saw this. I was like, I didn't. I thought this was, was uh, tire shine. No, it's a, a paint gloss. <laughs> so that's what you see right now in the truck. If you like what you see, this is what I just used right now. Tire shine on the tires. Oh, you see it on this side right here. This tire shine on the tires and truck shine on the paint. See the tire shine right now on the sun? Yeah, you see it right there. Tire shine, truck shine on the paint. So we're about to head out. We're gonna go the long way. They got some oversized loads that back there. Like an oversized load truck show on that side over there. We're gonna go the long way over there. 15 minutes up. Go ahead and swing around that long way back there. I ended up going back in there and um, I want to get that fuel filter wrench, but it cost uh, $47. The oil filter wrench was 10, but the fuel filter wrench cost 47. On Amazon, they cost like 15, 20. I was about the good one, the Dav Coke had just like how they got. But I got the, um, what you call it. I went back and got that, that steering wheel piece I wanted, that blue one. Yeah, I wanna got this thing here. Yeah, 18 inch. This is where I was before, but I, when I saw the guys pulling up, I said, man, I don't, can't park by y'all. Big oversized. Wait, what, what is that he got? <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's where they all at back here. Here's the oversized. Oversized uh, truck show over here. This back row back here. Yeah, that's where they at right here, man. Look at this Peter Bell here. Wow. Twin towers. That king wear same color. Got some more over here. They must go to the same place. Some more twin towers. Purples. All right. Good black one. Yes, sir. Quieter down here, but that back, that back left corner. Oh yeah, they they over there. This Iowa 80, Walcott, Iowa. Yeah, I went back inside this morning to finish up, cause. I also needed this little uh, this notebook that fold up. They got the one I want, man, but it costs fifty dollars. The big, it's like a big binder, but it's like a notepad where you can put all your paperwork in. Walmart don't really uh, have the one I want. Go ahead, bro. Walmart don't have the kind I really want, um, but they do, and Love's do. Love's got it for twenty-seven. They got it for forty-seven. I think Amazon got it for 18. <laughs> so we get the one for 18 for Amazon, and I just wait. So slow, God, oh, we want a turtle, what? A little peppy stuff. Man. <laughs> Sometimes you forget I got this automatic, just press the gas, we gotta, gotta switch gears. <laughs> I be forgetting, man. Yeah, most of the company drivers be in the front. 
<laughs> all the oversized guys be in that back corner over there. Yeah, the whole weekend, nobody parked next to me at all. I was outside for a long time. I wanted to eat at the buffet, man, but as soon as I get, go in there, it's full, it's full of tourists, man. Uh, it, it is a truck stop or a tourist, a tourist festival, man. So I, I didn't get to eat, man. Every time I went in there, I mean, pack. I don't know where they're coming from, but it, it was packed with tourists. So I didn't eat and uh, I just got my food to go. But I had Subway on the weekend, but I was only gonna eat yesterday on Sunday. I know it's gonna be good food in there, but it's full of tourists, like it's made for them. But they get most of their money off them though, cause they go, they coming in there to spend some money on that food and um, the accessories to buy. But it was all good and I waited, it. it was all good. Some stuff was a little expensive, but I'm glad I got that oil filter, man. That oil filter wrench. Yeah. We all need that, man. On the operators, lease operators. You never know when that oil thing can uh, get a little loose. And when it do, it's an oil leak. Oil leak can put you out of service, man. Or they call somebody to make it come fix it. They ain't gonna just let you drive off where they see the oil leak like that. And it's coming right from that field filter. From when I got that oil change, it's coming right from, that, from the, the top of it. So they had that for 1099, so I was like, okay, let me just get this one. I eat more, I eat wet. So we'll be there at 715. They open up at eight, so I'll probably be the first one there. 6.15 in the morning, the sun is out. Ha!
quarter miles. Turn right on 520th Street Southwest. I'm gonna let this box truck do its thing. Should have pulled in that right. That's like a little, little street. Bro. Yeah, so we turn right in one mile. Yes, sir. Right now it's 727. They open up at 8 a.m. 8 to 4 o'clock. Likely, I should be like the first one here because it ain't no appointment time, so I'll probably be the first one. Turn right, right here. Are you sure, man? This don't look right. I have to turn down there. Oh man, it's down that street. truck that turned the street before me but I, <laughs> I thought I'd go down the main street now that's Iowa my boy all right we got a yield Kelowna Iowa that's where we at Kelowna Go up a little bit, then turn down that main street. Welcome to Kelowna. Here. I'll be in the dirt road because I got a long way to go down. Right here. I ain't hoping the dirt road, dog. It's a dirt road. I can't turn down the street. <laughs> nah. Welcome to Kelowna. We're about to go back around that street and then turn left again. Wait, car, wait. Gotta turn left, bro. Thank you, car. Thank you. Thank you, car. Three quarter miles. Turn left on 520th Street Southwest. All right, we're gonna try to turn left up here. I mean, that street go right there, but it's like a a road to look I'm supposed to be on. But we're gonna see. Uh, probably going to a farm for real. It's 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 a Farmers Avenue. I just like to see a truck go before me before I go in. <laughs> Man, we here something first. I'm ready to turn left. Yeah, one mile. Straight down dirt road. Yeah, I'm 
don't say no truck, so I'm gonna go ahead and see what happens. Almost about to come down the street just like this. I said, nah. I'd rather come down the other one. The other one looked better. They don't open till nine o'clock, but I can back into the door over there. So, am I kill me? Yeah, I'll take the lock off. Kelowna, Iowa. I mean, in the middle of nowhere, man. <laughs> you know who have a lot of loads like this? Reefer, reefer guys be like this too. They be in the middle of nowhere. Dirt roads, man. Dirt. Man, 
Let's see how we look in. Yes, sir. We'll take the straps off over there. We got time anyway. <laughs> well, Fluff's still hanging on. Try to keep it clean, so. Still feeling me where I'm about nothing. Nothing missing. <laughs> missing the whole boat. Because <laughs> it's torn. I ain't gonna replace that thing. But they don't need replacing it. There's one boat missing. We're gonna head back up over there. I got some nice trucks over here, them Peter belts with them reefer units. They got Thermo Kings on them. Put a Great Dane trailer, that's what I want, a Great Dane with a carrier. Dock over there, we're gonna go straight that back in. straps and everything. Let's wait till they come off their meter. Easy back a ripper. getting the paperwork out of my notebook. Like, is this the right address? Cause my, the email, sometimes dispatcher get to get the wrong address too. So I check the paperwork, I had put all this paper down. Looking for this uh, bill later. Like, uh, I'm really going down the dirt road somewhere. Uh, yeah, you, you gotta go down that way. I can't see the rocks on that side. I'm get straight first on that side. I don't know if something's blocking over there, you know? Okay, I get back straight because oh, I see when the rocks landing. Got big flies over here. Keep his window closed up. these tandem back for them and gonna get these straps. All right, get the strap out. Second one too.
you stay straight. Now we wait. I'll go outside and fold these up. Back it all the way up. And we're good to go. See how we look on this side? Oh, yeah, we straight. Good one arrow. Set this line, go down and drop the bags. It all comes straight together. Got a little incline up, so drop the airbag so you won't be seesawing up in the, in the cab. When you drop down, you'll be, you know. So. Always good to do that. Some people do it, some people don't, but I do it. All right, we all finished now. to go out here and blow. We got a next load going to uh, Buena Vista, Florida. Load paying 3300 I'm like, well, you got, you, you got that for me? <laughs> you were laughing. You got me a load like that? <laughs> say, yeah, man, we going to, to, to Florida. They pay that high. Awesome, but did, did you get that for me, though? <laughs> I'm gonna blow out the trailer. I asked him, like, oh, did you really get that for me? You never, all, my loads with you are like 800, 1,000, little small loads. Smaller loads. They say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's going to Florida, so they pay higher. I said, well, yeah, we never go to Florida, so I never get the higher paying loads. Like, what, what, what you mean? <laughs> Here's somebody over here. Pick the stop. Yeah, so. Pay 3,300. That's kind of heavy. What, 37,000? I said, yeah, man, let's go in and get that. Sure, my first time getting a load like this with you. <laughs> we do this all the time. First round be clean, you know, I'd be something else. Let's get on to this. We're going to New Sharon, Iowa. New Sharon, Iowa. They about to work right now. Let me hurry up. Okay. Go ahead on to New Sharon. New Sharon, Iowa. It was fast. It's 8.45 right now. They started at 8.25, so. So it'll start at 9. You know, all the personnel, they were like, they're gonna start this time, they're gonna start this time. No, they start early. Down the street, I have the lights on. So we're 75 miles from there. 
at a low, it's going for like 1,400 miles. Playing two plus a mile, he said, two plus a mile. But they always, they don't tell the truth about how much it really paid, but it paid 3,300, it probably really paid 37, you know what I mean? Uh, I know how I go, but, you know. It, pay, it, always, pay, it always pay more, dog, always. So I really probably paid like 37, but they're gonna pay me 33. 3300 for it. Yes, sir. So we'll be down a few.
Sharon, Iowa. We about three miles, two miles from the shipper. They got an open window appointment from eight to four o'clock. Right now it's 10.20 on a Monday. Monday morning, 10.20 a.m. We should be there in uh, one mile. One mile out from the shipper. Low's supposed to be a little heavy, like 37,000. But it pay it paid pretty good, man. Thirty, like thirty-seven. But I get, they, they they gonna pay me thirty-three, but they pay like thirty-seven. But um, I want to see what's gonna be on it. Something man, like that for driving that ain't half, man. But it's going kind of far. So it's like two dollars, two plus a mile, like fourteen hundred miles, thirteen eighty-five, something like that. But it's going to Florida. Like nobody like going to Florida but me. I don't like going to Florida. Cause you don't find nothing coming out. You can find something. Sure. Be all right. So we're about to turn up here in one mile. Mile out. It look like it's over there. That building over there. Turn right on 150th Street. Yeah. Yeah, I would be like this, dog. Iowa, Nebraska. Boy, you turn out some streets, boy. You be like, well, should I really do this? Yeah, you really should, it, boy. And they be like this, Nebraska, Iowa, like North Dakota. <laughs> boy, you turn some streets, you be like, oh, I don't know if I'd be able to get out of this. Yeah. One quarter mile, arrive at 2175 150th Street on the left. Especially like a reefer. Refrigerated. Yeah, they be they be going to places like this too, picking up them potatoes. Uh huh. Two one seven five. We looking for you. Two one seven five. All right. Arriving at twenty one seventy five one hundred fiftieth Street on the left. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. We're picking up something with food, so food grade something. Shipping, receiving. We are shipping, so I leave them some space out. Not leave anybody coming in, some space in. I'm park it right here. We're gonna go to the open door over there next to the truck that's in the dock. Picking up some food grade stuff, food grade. Food is important, so it pay a little more. Food and hazmat, I'll tell you. Uh -huh. Mr. Can you make sure your trailer is clean? Let's see, okay, I will. I will make sure. Yeah, food don't play about that um, trailer. They don't want nothing in here. They want to almost mopped out, man. Go ahead and then back in over there. Very windy out here, but very nice. This is New Sharon, Iowa. 10.30 a.m. on a Monday. Very nice.
see what we're looking like. Very good. Let's see what we got now. I'm only one here. There's a lot of them in there, so they're probably going to be fast. bit more raspberry soft serve a little crooked on this side a little slack watch out the dot plate now it's a little slack this way oh chocks up here I don't wonder what it is All right, we're now finished. 37,900. Kinda heavy. I don't know if we should scale it though. Probably should. 38,000 going through all them stakes. Yeah, you might want to scale this one. So let's pull straight over here and see if we need the straps. I got a little excited at first. One of the papers was saying 19,000. And then the other paper said like 17 or something. Like, okay, well. Ah, uh, it's 37 for real. I thought it was gonna be 19,000 only. Uh, let's go back here and see if we need to strap it down. New Sharon, Iowa. New, new, the new one. New Sharon. This one don't need it. This one don't need the got that low one down now I don't need it we may have to weigh it may have to weigh this one yeah we gotta go through a lot of states one route on my GPS is showing me to get through uh, go through St. Louis Nashville Chattanooga and Atlanta. Then my other one is saying that one is 1,306 miles. And then my other one is showing you can go out a route for these 60 miles and just take St. Louis all the way to 55 and then start cutting across like 22. 22 and get around Montgomery and um, Alabama, then cut down to Dolphin. I think I like that way better. It's a little more flat, it's a little less headache. 60 more miles, it's heavy anyway. I'm gonna go down St. Louis and cut through Memphis. All right. Well, now we need fuel and we need the skeleton. We're running to through too many states this early in the week, they all gonna be open. You know what I mean? They all gonna be open around this early in the week on a Monday, so I'm gonna scale this load so I don't gotta be nervous going to the scale and worrying about how my weight is, you know? Plus, I need fuel. I need to fill up. I think I fill up twice. This is like 1,300 miles, so I'm gonna fill up twice, bro. They got it set for like 1,400 miles. My GPS is showing 13. So, I'll figure it out. New Sharon, Iowa. Yes, sir, New Sharon.
now in New London, Missouri. I'm about to pull on into the Loves. There's the first scale I seen since I got, came under the US 61. Yeah, 200 miles later. Well, like 180, but yeah. <laughs> It's the first, the first one, but it wasn't a way station or nothing though. Every truck I pass should be putting on in here because 354 is, oh man. Very nice price right now. 354, New London, Missouri. All them trucks I pass should be pulling right in here, man. So we gotta get the scale ticket first. Then, We'll get the fuel and light up this uh, windshield. Nah, I need to go to Walmart. I'm running out of, out of my dime, man. Now I'm gonna hit, I'm hit St. Louis a little bit and then stop right after St. Louis. And I'd be about uh, a thousand miles from Buena Vista. Buena Vista, Florida. Down by Orlando a little bit. So I deliver on Thursday morning. That's why I pay so much. <laughs> I deliver Thursday morning. Um, three o'clock in the morning. And I gotta sit on it for like three days. That's why that's why it's paying like that. I started thinking about it, I said, dog, I gotta sit on it low for a long time, boy. Pulling on into, oh, I gotta get a scale ticket. Yeah, pulling on into the scale. <laughs> pulling on into the love. Go oh, pull it on in. All right, let's see how much this is gonna be. It's gonna be like, I should be dead even though. So I'm 10,000 on my steers, 30,720 on the drives, 28,520 on the trailer, and 69,000 total. So yeah, I'm good to go. Pull back around and get the fuel now. I made them empty all the way to the bottom. With fuel being 354, it should be like a five, 520 round, from 520 to 480, somewhere around there. Two over there. Fifty to sixty-five cent company drivers. That's pretty good. Though. Fifty to sixty-five cent. My favorite music over there. They playing that music. Playing country music, dog. I gotta, I'm about to cut it. Like, the more you get over there, you hear it right there in the speaker. On this side is good, but on that, on that side over there, you hear that music.
right now we at 185. Even though it's kind of heavy, it is pulling. Pulling it pretty good though. Missouri, Missouri, Iowa got some hills, man. So I'm gonna hit St. Louis in a little bit. And then get off at the first love on 55. Yeah, I ain't going through uh, Atlanta, Nashville, and Chattanooga, nah. I'm only gonna see St. Louis, that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> it's 50 more miles, but it's, it's much better on fuel though. It's much better on stress too, but you gotta see Atlanta or Chattanooga or Nashville. Well, it's a new squeaky little guy. They ain't got a new water, the new water, but I got the new squeaky though. <laughs> It's drying up already. It's 93 right now in Missouri. The time right now is 1.45. 1.45 p.m. On a Monday. Let's see where we at. 4.20. Yeah, there's gonna be about 5.50 right here. That's dead everywhere. All the way to the bottom. Look right now. It's this wild truck shine right there. Walk around right quick. Y'all see the little gloss on that? <laughs> That's from this wild right here. I'll walk around, show y'all how it look. Everything about it. All that, that's from that wild right now. I like it. I like it. It, it look pretty good, though. I like it. <laughs> we have five. Oh no. Uh, 25. Man, I was that low. Still drinking. Almost. Not too much, not too much. Oh, uh, you missed it, man. You hit the rim. 537, 151 gallons. All right, that was pretty good. Spent 537. I got 27 off. Long Mountain Fuel Car. So, good there now. I just need to make it past St. Louis. Right now it's 2, 2.40 afternoon. If I can make it past St. Louis, I'd be okay to get off. I don't want to be. I don't want to be in St. Louis around four, four or five o'clock. So I mean, like the heart of it, 70, 55, 57 over there, 64. Nah, not around four or five o'clock. Crossing the line, there, buddy. Crossing the line. You gotta wiggle like a snake, man. All right, off to St. Louis we go. I'm gonna get off the first loves after St. Louis. But I gotta beat it first though, I gotta beat it. So I get my miles in, I do 500 tomorrow. Turn right on US 61 South. And then 500, like 4, 480 on Wednesday, so. 
what I'm trying to do. So it's US uh, 61 South. They got an oversized load over there on the ramp. And a team. I do like 480 like I said earlier so no need to rush it stop sign gotta watch Tyson coming over there with that crispy chicken bam <laughs> wait Tyson wait wait there you go great job Tyson yes sir as I'm gonna pull on here it's a storm coming man they say like they say like moderate heavy rain with hail and this and that. I don't want to drive through that. You know how I be in Missouri? Missouri had like the worst storms, tornadoes and stuff. I don't want to drive through that at all. Find me a nice clear spot over here straight away and get peace and quiet. <laughs> it's loves in Bloomsdale. Bloomsdale, Missouri. Get this driver backing up. They're looking left, man. Uh, all of a sudden, I just come right, you know? All right, they all the way in. Try to find a straightaway, straightaway. We got one? Nope. Oh, I gotta leave early in the morning. Oh, maybe over this side. Right now, the time is. Five o'clock, five o'clock uh, p.m. It's a nice international here, man. Dang, Harold Bibbs. <laughs> That's a nice one, though. Wow. Yeah, I'm start about three, about three-ish. 
Yeah, on my Garmin, this is more of a fuel efficient, more route to do. Uh, this is a better one for me to do. Take 55 to uh, down by Memphis. Then we're gonna take, um, I think a little bit of, no, 22. We're gonna take 22 all the way in to 65 to Alabama. Then take Alabama to 65 till we get to Montgomery. Then Montgomery gonna take 85. And then 85, we're gonna take 231. And 231, we're gonna be on I-10. And from I-10, we're gonna have I-75. Straight like that. Straight like that. So anyway, we're parking here till the morning time and continue this journey. It's a nice journey. I love this color right here. Wow. Reefer. See what happened when you put a reefer? You get nice stuff. <laughs> like about 22, 24 here. You got a comments? No, um, you got an 826. Uh.